How dirty is your keyboard? It's a well-known fact that a keyboard harbours more bacteria than a toilet seat. So we were doing some testing in the office the other day and somebody said, I wonder how dirty my keyboard is. So we thought we'd find out. Before we started testing the keyboards, we thought we'd test a few other things around the office. So we looked at a toilet seat, a landline telephone and a door handle. After we had tested the toilet seat, the door handle and the landline, we gathered together six volunteers and swabbed their keyboards to measure the bacteria and compared these readings to the earlier objects. So how do you measure bacteria? In order to measure it, you need to use an ATP monitoring system. These come in the form of a unit and swabs. You swab the offending area, pop it in the, in the unit, it does a little countdown and gives you an RLU count. RLU stands for Relative Light Units. ATP, or adenosine triphosphate, is present in all organic material. It's a universal unit of energy and is in all living cells. Knowing the level of ATP indicates the levels of pathogens. So what does an RLU reading really mean? Acceptable RLU levels are dictated by each industry. For instance, a hospital's RLU levels would be lower than, say, an office or a school. To put this in some context, a hospital may have pass or fail indicators set at 10 up to 30. Anything 10 or below is a pass, anything 30 or above is a fail. These are the results. So now you've seen how manky our keyboards are, what can do you do around the office to help keep bacteria at bay? 1. Wash your hands. It's simple. When you're eating and then you're touching your keyboard, all the germs from the food and the organic material from crisps and chocolate and uh, licking your fingers, it's all going on your keys. So wash your hands. And once a month, once a week, however often, but more often than never, give your keyboard a little bit of clean. These aerosol cans are really brilliant for blowing out all the dirt and dust from in, in between the keys and then simply just get a little cloth and a sanitizer. Give it a little wipe. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Speak to you later.